Hey, what's up? We're having a look at the Miele T1 heat pump dryer. This is different from your normal dryers, which you're used to. As you can see on the bottom right hand corner, this one has an eight star energy rating. It uses less electricity than your normal TV for drying. How good is that? Now, you'll have to re-educate your mind as to how a dryer dries clothes. Because historically, we know dryers as things that just go through, chew through all your electricity. But with these ones, this is an improvement. Heat pump dryer technology is such that it uses condenser drying and it's got a compressor in there when the hot air and the cold air meet, that helps to dry your clothes. If you don't have one, you better get yourself one of these because this is gonna save you time, money, and headaches on those cloudy, rainy days. Something that most people wouldn't have thought about getting because they're too expensive, they use too much electricity, but with heat pump dryers that are becoming more and more popular, this is what you want to get. Now you'll say, I don't really need to spend that much on a dryer. I'll just get the normal ones, the vented ones. Now the vented ones or the condenser dryer ones with the heat pump technology will cost you more in the long run. So this might set you back about two grand, but that's it. With the normal ones, you pay about maybe say three, 400 bucks for a normal dryer. And every month your bill will be about a hundred dollars more than when you have a heat pump dryer. So you definitely wanna get one of these bad boys right here. Maybe not a Melee if you don't have the budget for it, but check out Samsung, Bosch, they have good models for those ones. Fisher & Paykel too as well. LG, most manufacturers will have good ones. Just make sure that whenever you buy one, get extended warranty. Now with this one, it's similar to the Mille W1 washing machine. It's got only one button that you're ever gonna use, which is this power one. When you power it up, it's gonna power up the screen. And then all these buttons here, they're just touch sensitive. So, so easy to use. No fuss over how to control it. No buttons that people are gonna damage for you. Pretty simple and easy. And then when it comes to the door and loading it up, it opens from left, from right to left. The washing machine does the opposite, such that when you have both of them, you only need to open, you can open both doors at once and you don't have any problems loading up your clothes. Now in terms of dryer capacity, this is a nine kilo dryer and the same as a washing machine, as I've posted that video, check it out in my other videos, you only need to put it halfway up the door. If you put too much, it's not gonna dry properly. These things need air, they need volume to breathe properly and thereby get a much faster dry time and dry quality. Because a lot of people load these up and then go, oh, it's not drying properly. And then the other thing, don't wash, don't dry blankets or wash blankets or pillows for that matter, because these things are not designed to do that. Go to the laundromat if you need to do those things. Then we've got our filter here, which you empty after every dry cycle. Just make sure that all the lint to catch it up and then get all the other lint that is in here. This is a self-cleaning one. Um, there's a condensing unit down here. You don't need to worry about cleaning it up regularly like your normal vented or condenser dryer. So make sure you get one of these self-cleaning ones because it saves you a ton of maintenance. Then when it comes to all the drying, so the vented ones usually steam up the room. This is the beauty of condenser drying technology. And there's a light in there for you, eh? You can see everything that you've put in there. You won't lose any socks. If you put any socks in there, they'll be, you can see them whatever time you come and look in the laundry, you can see everything that was in the dryer and take it all out at once. So that just adds that touch of class combined with this nice door, which has this protective cover on there so that you don't burn yourself if you ever go come and touch that. Now with, with these ones, they don't steam up the room as a normal vented dryer would, which starts peeling the paint off your walls and it's all steamy. This collects the water in a tank. You've got, you've got two options. So all the water that is in your clothes, 
when this process finishes, it collects it up in this tank right here, which you can of course remove. And then you can just tip out the water in the sink. Now this maybe will fill up after maybe every four or five dry cycles. Just depends how, what, what you're drying and how heavy it is and how much water you've spun out of it when you do your wash. You, if you're not for the option of always emptying this, you can always plumb it up at the back. There's a drain hose, which you can just plumb and then it'll be draining normally like a washing machine. Just make sure that it's going down and it's not going to have to travel up to get out of the washing, out of the dryer. So this is pretty cool. The controls are pretty cool as well. You just use the touch buttons, which are simple to use. When it comes to the controls of this, you've got this panel, which you has touch sensitive buttons. So you've got this menu, which you can scroll to the right as well to see the additional options. So in total, you have about five options to check from to get your cycles that you want. So the first one is programs, which will take you through all the drying settings for different fabrics that you have. So you've got one that's pre-programmed for cottons that will make sure it dries it optimally. And as you can see, it can show you the maximum that you can put in there for cottons. And you've got extras if you want to add extra things on there. And this is another lovely thing about these melee dryers and melee products. They're more personalized. It's different from the normal ones that you get that uh, you just use a general setting. These will take care of your fabrics. It has a different wash and a different dry quality to it. You will have all your clothes really nice and they won't lose their, their fabric or their color. So this is really good. This is what Melee does really, really well. So you've got options like um, the auto load control, freshening it up, turbo gentle tumble if you don't want, if they're a bit delicate. Anti-crease is, so sometimes when you've dried your clothes, you say you're going out or you forget you don't want your clothes just sitting in there, otherwise they're gonna crease. So what it does is every five minutes when it's finished, it's gonna turn once just to move around the clothes so they don't sit for too long. And it might do this for about five hours and that will help it not to crease. And then you've got the time that it'll take to do that cycle, which is about an hour, 11 minutes. So this just depends. It will automatically adjust it as it goes through the dry cycle depending on what you're drying and the dryness. It might start at like two hours and then go, these clothes are almost dry. I only need another 30 minutes and then it will just step it down and then your clothes will be drier in a shorter time. Then eco-feedback, the energy, you can, you can select how much energy you want it to consume. If you want to save more energy, it will take a longer time, but if you're in a rush, you can just reduce the energy that it's going to use. It shows you the amount of energy it's going to use in that cycle. When you're ready to start, you press the start button and then it's gonna light up and then start. You can pause it, pause on cancel the program because I'm not gonna do this. And whenever you pause a cycle, it's gonna cool down to protect you from getting burnt. These are the dry settings that you have. You can have, you can set your own favorite programs. You can create one instead of selecting all these options and, and, and personalizing it every time you do a dry cycle, you can always do it once and then save it, save it to different names. Like people can have, if there's different people in the house, like housemates and stuff, you can just save it to your, to your name. Or if you've got kids in the house you can just save them to their names and you can use that setting for your kids, especially with those that have got, that are allergic to certain um, things. You can use um, allergy cycle or some like, set it to that and then it washes to their preference for every piece of fabric that you have. Then you've got, you've got different settings that you can use. This drying assistant is a personalized touch to what, how you want the dryness to be like, how you want it to handle the drying. It's just a personal touch that takes care of your fabrics. Of course, you've got like the extra gentle drying freshening up items, energy saving drying, gentle drying or quick drying. You can select and tell it what you need it to do, which is really good for diff because different fabrics will require different settings depending on how um, heavy they are, how, f how much of a rush you're in. 
all that stuff. It's good that Melee gives you that option to select what needs to work for you. Of course, you got settings where you can change the settings of the dryer, things like the sound, the cooldown period, and the drying levels. So the drying levels will be like, do you want it, like you're setting it for the cottons, do you want it drier or damper? This is where you're just setting it to see how dry, the level of dryness that you want these things to be. Now, I know it might look a bit complicated as I'm doing it now, but once you get used to it and once you set it right, then you can just come and press one button and it's off, it's drying. Hey, I post a lot of videos on these new washers and many others from different brands like Bosch, Samsung, LG. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as I'll be posting more videos. So if, if ever you're looking to do an upgrade, I might have a video on one that you're looking at. And also I post videos on the problems, faults and errors that these washing machines and these dryers come up with. So yours might have a problem right now that I've covered in a previous video. So be, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll be more than happy to help. If you're unsure about anything, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying this video, finding some value in this video, be sure to click that, subscribe, that like button as it goes a long way to help out this channel so I can keep bringing these washing machines, these dryers, so you guys can see how they work. Are they worth the money? What do I think personally about them? And that will help you to make an informed shopping decision. So with all these cycles, they're just different variations for different fabrics that you have. Express is just a fast one and it just gives you guidelines as to how, how dry you want these things to be. It's pretty simple, very similar to the washing machine. I'd encourage you, if you get one of these, get them as a pair, get the washing machine, get the dryer. You can stack them up. One can sit on top of the other and it, it'll be really, really good. It looks nice. It's got a premium finish to it, which will add a touch of class to any laundry. And you'll be having these things for years and years and years. Mille is pretty good on their customer support and help. Make sure you get extended warranty if you're buying it from um, any retailer so that if anything ever comes up with these, you're covered and you're not up for those expensive repairs. But generally, I've always found Mille to be reliable. They put in good materials, use good software. Pretty simple to use. I've had one of these myself. Haven't had many problems with them. They're pretty good. Now, price-wise, all heat pump dryers are going to cost you money. This one might set you back about three, four grand. If you're not up for that much, you can always get the other brands like Bosch, Samsung, LG, Fisher & Paykel, whatever you, Frigidaire, whatever you get, decide to get, make sure it's just got extended warranty and it'll do the job. But Mille has that personal stash, touch. Most will just give you a general setting. So if you've got fabrics that are really delicate, that you love your clothes, you don't want them to be wrecked, because a lot of people say, I don't like using dryers because they wreck clothes, they shrink them. This does not shrink them as most, wash, most heat pump dryers will not shrink your clothes because it's condenser drying technology. But Mille goes that extra step to know that it's gonna take really good care of your clothes. So it's well worth all the money you're paying for it. And as you look in the drum there, as we noted before, there's that lighting that will help you if you're loading it. And we've got that, di that harmony comb design in it that's gonna help to take care of your clothes. It's, it's, it's soft on your clothes. It's not gonna hurt your clothes which is a really good design that Miller has been using for years and years. And you'll see the difference once you start using one of these. So if you got the cash for it, definitely, definitely get your hands on the Miller T1 Steam Finish XL Tronic dryer, heat pump dryer. It is well worth its weight in gold or in cash as it's gonna pay itself in terms of energy savings, thereby saving on bills and also shopping for new clothes. So this is the one to get. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.